my name is Ali Schneider and today I will be talking with you guys about the history of the marching band. So nowadays you may see a marching band at a high school or college football game or maybe even at a competition of their own, but they weren't always in these formats. Marching bands first originated in, during times of war. These bands were used as a way of communication to the soldiers because normal yelling was unable to cut through the sounds of battle. We have evidence of bands in this format as early as the 13th century in Ottoman Empire art. The role for this band lasted until about the 1800s. As the band's importance in war faded, the use of the marching band then was changed to a more ceremonial role. While this man wasn't the originator, John Philip Sousa played one of the biggest roles in this shift. John Philip Sousa was the 17th director of the Marine Band, and while this was his first time conducting a military band, this actually benefited him a lot in the long run. He changed the instrumentation and changed much of the music that, that they played. These changes affected all marching bands for the future. If we take a look at the influence of military marching bands have had on the current marching bands, we can see the similarities. A lot of the strict commands and movements can be seen with both. Also along with the uniforms for most marching bands currently are very similar to military uniforms. The next big step in marching bands history was the creation of the competitive drum corps. These were originally for all ages so that veterans of World War I were able to participate. But in the 1930s, a junior corps was created and that limited the age to 13 to 21. The corps then began to develop themselves. In the 1960s, many composers for these corps were done with the normal music that was being seen and wanted to break the mold of what was allowed. Starting in 1974 was when more instrumentation like the marching xylophone and bells were allowed. Then by the 80s, a front end ensemble was also allowed which this started a whole new era. This progressed even further into the 2000s and we now have the instrumentations we have today. Nowadays, there are yearly competitions with thousands of musicians who strive to be in their favorite and best cores. The people in these cores are the best of the best and never disappoint. These competitions bring in even more people cheering on their favorites as they put on elaborate shows that vary greatly from where marching bands first started. On the other side of marching band, we have bands that perform at football halftimes. The first time a band performed at halftime was at the University of Illinois in 1907. This phenomenon spread and now it is hard to go to any football game, high school or college and not see performance from that school's band. As the history of the marching band continues, more bands will make the choice of whether to carry on the traditions of their predecessors or break the molds and try to things that no one has even thought of before. No matter what choice they make, marching bands will continue to entertain and bring people together from all over. Thank you for listening.